You know, we have that saying, let's not lose touch. Well, pairs are always losing touch. It's so easy to lose touch because we have so many disruptions in our lives. But it's very easy to restore. And it again involves touch. So most people will touch when they put a child to bed. They'll rock a baby before they put them down. Or some parents just hold the baby and have them sleep on them um, for a long, long time before putting them down, realizing how calming to the baby that that touch is. And of course, it can be very satisfying to a mother. But in its absence, it's even more important. In our study of preterm infants, we knew that the mothers couldn't pick up the baby and take them out of the incubator when they weren't stable. So I hypothesized that we could replicate the stimulation of holding by having the mothers and the fathers hold the baby in the torso firmly through the holes in the incubator, the portals, and hold the baby around the middle where there are many, 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 many pressure receptors. And those pressure receptors are normally engaged when you pick up a baby and hold the baby tight. Well, just doing it in the incubator calmed the baby and you could see the heart rate go down on the monitor. You could see the oxygen content of the blood go up. It was very dramatic for the parents to see the effect they could have on their baby this way. And if the mother would speak emotionally at the very same time as she was engaging the press receptors, the baby would engage in eye contact for the first time. So this was very exciting, but it started with touch.